Hi folks, uh, this is a tutorial on um, building formula in your mark sheets um, into which you enter your assessment tasks that will ultimately be pulled into SAMS as well as to populate the uh, report marks uh, that go into front office and that you print on your reports. Um, so in actual fact it's in particular reference to the report mark uh, so that it matches what comes out in SAMS um, with special focus on life skills uh, grade 3 uh, for term 1 and actually it applies to term 2 as well um, it's it, 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 it's useful to watch uh, regardless of even if you're a high school for example because the principle uh, often follows the same route um, there are variances in things like languages and, and what have you, but once you've watched enough of these uh, formula building tutorials and actually even looked at the formula that are given to you to put into the mark sheets anyway, uh, you'll be, be able to begin to derive the pattern. Um, so, all right, quite simply, you can see I have a mark sheet here with marks in them. I have not put a report mark formula in. What I've done is I've gone into uh, Sam's mark sheet and entered say the first four lines of marks so you can see that they're the same right so 26 24 20 33 26 for the first four under beginning knowledge and PSW and then 7598 7598 um, under visual arts 3678 3678 15 17 24 uh, sorry and then the next data entry point, because remember, we don't enter where there are calculated columns, we enter only in data entry points. The next data entry point is 12, 21, 24, 15 for physical education, 12, 21, 24, 15. So the objective, of course, as usual, is to arrive at the same marks, 53, 62, 81, and 65. Um, all right, fairly simply, um, what we can do here is, right, so well, let me just explain, as I've explained before, that these two columns you can see here, sometimes folks get confused by the weighting because they say, well, there's a weighting of 100 and there's a 30 and a 40, so that's 170, so it's, it's incorrect, but that's not entirely true. You can see here that there are two activity reference numbers, which denote the fact that, in fact, there are two activities within a task in other words these two form one task and the tasks within uh, the activities within that task are weighted 50 50 okay so in this case evenly split um, and then you can actually work out what the weighting is for these two tasks by simply looking at the weightings uh, sorry for these two activities or for this task in in its entirety by looking at the other two tasks okay so just to reiterate there are essentially three tasks here, even though there are four columns, you can see this. This is a task reference number, 38974. And then these two task reference numbers are the same, 38975, 38975. In other words, they form the same task. And as soon as they're the same task, different activity numbers appear underneath them. And once again, this is the third task over here. So as I was saying, that task is weighted 40 and that task is weighted 30, which means that, means that this remaining task in its entirety will be the remaining 30. Now, if we were to look at the SAM sheet itself, you can actually see this in action where this column here, which is not represented on our mark sheet because we didn't, again, want to end, include mar uh, columns where marks were not to be entered. In other words, calculated columns, so as not to confuse um, your staff entering the marks and you can see that the uh, weighting for this entire task is 30. Right, so let's just um, build a formula here quickly. So the uh, right, so we go so the first part is fairly straightforward. What we want is the mark divided by the total multiplied by the weighting, okay? 
that's the first segment if you like then the second segment is going to going to involve summing the marks up they're evenly split so it's fairly straightforward we go sum and we go these two right divided by the sum of the total marks okay and then we go for the third segment which is uh, to the uh, mark divided by the total multiplied by the weighting um, okay and in the second segment which is here we also need to multiply it by its weighting okay which we worked out by simply looking at the weightings as I explained as being 30 uh, I beg your pardon this is this is not 30 that is uh, right That is multiplied by 30. Sorry, multiplied by 30. Yeah. Okay. And we see this gives us a mark of 53. Now, actually, there is a slightly shorter cut we can take here because it's all sort of worked out neatly in the sense that the uh, mark uh, of the test is actually the weighted contribution was a contribution weighting so to speak in other words the weighting matches the amount of marks assigned to that test and you'll see in other examples I've done of this tutorial that that's that's not always the case so that the formula needs to evolve slightly but um, because of that we actually needn't we can actually just sum up this D9 on its own and this G9 on its own because the mark they get is the exact proportion of the final mark. Um, so, okay, well, what we'll do is we'll first of all um, copy this to the other cells. Now, bearing in mind that we want to hold these heading cells here constant, right? And you do that by adding a dollar sign in front of the row, okay? So that's seven and six and seven and seven and six so in other words we're telling it that when we copy and paste the formula we want it to move down to these marks but we wanted to keep referencing back to these cells at the top okay so 53 and we'll copy three more columns okay Right, and you'll see we've got marks of 53, 62, 81, and 65, which matches the uh, marks that the SAMS program has calculated exactly. Now, as I say, um, we can actually simplify this because, um, as mentioned before, the marks that the learner obtains um, end up representing the proportion of the final um, sum anyway and you'll see what I mean so in, in other words what I'm saying is we can just simply say D9 right plus the calculation for the activities okay which ultimately form their own task that's what that multiply by 30 is at the end because we're working out the mark and then we wait at 30 and then this quite simply is G9 so in other words what we've done is we've taken a mark out of 40 we've worked out a mark out of 30 that's what that multiply by 30 is and then we've taken another mark out of 30 and 40 30 and 30 is 100 so in other words we've added up that and that right the D9 and the G9 as well as the mark out of 30 for the two activities okay and you'll see that that gives you the exact same the exact same marks and just for the sake of 
display, you can see 53, 62, 81, and 65. Okay, so um, uh, have I'm going to put this into the uh, formula sheet that I'm building for term two thus far. If it would allow me to open it. And grade three life skills, you can see I started off um, with building the formula correctly, if you like, for, um, and then I simplified it. And it is, in actual fact, the exact same formula as uh, term one, but for term two purposes, I'm going to put them into a different color. But yes, that concludes this tutorial. Thank you.